Uh, well, the G7 is an enormously important uh, group of countries. Uh, it makes up uh, more or less uh, uh, the top economies in the world uh, and is also characterized by being a group of uh, democracies. Um, so His Excellency the President's uh, invitation to the G7 uh, I think is a big, big development for Kenya. Uh, his administration has traveled a long, long way. You will recall uh, that we started with choices have consequences uh, and statements about limited, limiting of uh, diplomatic contact. Uh, since then, uh, it's been a sea change. Uh, and today, Kenya really is at the top table of global decision making. Now, he will not be going there to make G7 decisions, but rather will be speaking to the G7 about the most pressing challenges uh, going on in the world. And I think this really is um, um, a continuation of a sort of uh, profile, a global profile that Kenya has had. And of course this G7 is coming uh, on the backdrop of events such as Manchester, uh, which are a great tragedy. Uh, an attack on uh, a youth concert, really young people, uh, and victims as young as eight years old, is really a big, big signal of just how dire this challenge is. And so you will know that G7 leaders are going to have the issues of counterterrorism uh, at the very top of their minds. Uh, the attacks uh, by terrorist groups uh, do not discriminate uh, between countries. Uh, countries that are very wealthy, countries that are highly secure, uh, are being hit as much if not more than countries such as Kenya. Um, and I think the response now needs to become uh, a braver response uh, that sees that we are all in this together. When, we are, when travel advisories are issued in Kenya, uh, it lets the terrorists win because that's what they want to achieve. And we think our friends should not allow the terrorists such victories. Well, we recently signed uh, a statement of intent uh, with uh, the government of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Uh, and in this, we agreed to work together to counter violent extremism, especially from a preventive uh, perspective. Um, His Excellency launched uh, the national strategy to counter violent extremism last September. And I think uh, the G7 leaders and world leaders increasingly are coming to um, reflect the vision that he has, which is that even as we strengthen our security and law enforcement, Ultimately, the victory against terrorism lies in the social, political, and cultural area. Therefore, we need to have strategies that are preventive, that involve citizens, uh, and that are focused more on prevention than reaction. And I think that's one of the great achievements His Excellency is going to be taking to Italy.